Renault's huge master is tasked with living up to its name by lording it over LCV rivals in the large van sector. And the headlines look as promising as the more assertive styling. Front wheel drive versions are more affordable to buy and run, while rear wheel drive models can handle much heavier loads. As a result, Renault can handle tough competition in this sector far more easily. Everything about Renault's third generation master van is big, except the French maker contends the costs required to run it. Sure enough, you'll spend almost as long choosing between the 350 or so variants on offer as you will driving the 870 miles or so you'll manage on a single tank full. Packing up a master is no small task either. Given loading capacities of between 8 and 18 cubic meters in standard van models. And the torquey 2.3 litre DCI diesel engine is capable of hauling big weights, up to 4.5 tonnes if you're really piling on the pounds. All of which is just as well, because cleaner, smarter, more comfortable, and more practical though it may be, this master is really going to have its work cut out in stealing market share from an army of accomplished rivals. Something it will need to do if the French brand's European LCV market share of nearly 15% is to be reflected on these shores. How will it fare? Let's find out. So, take a seat at the wheel. What will you notice? Well, the driving position's higher than it was in the previous generation version, 49 millimeters higher to be exact, which along with revisions to the windscreen and the side windows gives a commanding view of the road ahead. Whichever master you choose, you'll have the same engine under the bonnet, a 2.3 liter DCI diesel, but you can choose uh, between three different outputs, 100, 125, or 145 bhp. And there's the opportunity to select between front and rear wheel drive. Now you go for rear wheel drive with its twin rear wheels on each side if you were planning on carrying uh, larger loads, which is why the rear wheel drive option comes only with the bigger H2 and H3 medium and tall body shapes and the longer L3 and L4 medium and long wheelbases. Just as well then that the engines are a pretty willing bunch. Even the entry level 100 brake horsepower unit able to put out 285 newton meters of punch through its six-speed gearbox, a figure that the top 145 brake horsepower engine extends to 350 newton meters. Now all that's sufficient to haul a trailer grossing at three tons, and it's also enough to deal with uh, gross vehicle weights of either 2.8, 3.3, 3.5, or a whopping 4.5 tons giving rise to payload capacities that range between 994 and 2,254 kilograms, depending on the version you choose. On the move, though the gearbox could be a little slicker and the engine a little quieter, you're immediately impressed by this van's composure, not only around the corners, but also over poor services. Rear wheel drive makes this vehicle specially maneuverable too. True, the power steering could be uh, you know, it's slightly more fearsome for motorway work, it's quite light. But then you appreciate that lightness when you're trying to thread this vehicle through uh, tight city streets. The turning circle is impressive too, 13.6 uh, metres between curves or 14.1 metres between walls. For most businesses, aesthetics will be of limited importance when choosing a van. But even so, this master has taken care to tidy up its act in third generation guys. The uh, tall, thin, double optic headlamps and cheese grater front grille are distinctive, while the thick bumper at the front end adds aggression and curls up at the sides and the corners to protect you from knocks. The um, side rubbing strips are also a boon in this respect. Renault has also cut steps into the front bumper so that you can get a leg up when you want to clean the screen. Inside, the extra 5.7 centimetres in vehicle length is one of the reasons why there's now more comfortable space for three here in the cab, although it still is rather narrow if you're stuck in the middle, with knee room slightly compromised by these two cup holders and the storage space provided by this centre-mounted bin. 
there isn't quite the soft touch granite uh, build quality that you'd find in more expensive Volkswagen and Mercedes rivals. But what this Renault lacks in tactile feel, it more than makes up for in practical touches. Both seat and wheel are height adjustable and there's a whole minefield of storage areas within the master's cabin. That's 150 litres of them in total from the usual door bins, overhead shelf, uh, cup holders, chill glove box and cubby holes to storage compartments for laptops and sunglasses. There's even an optional clipboard that folds out of the dash for holding maps, delivery notes or invoices. Not quite so neat is the positioning of the grab handle that you grasp when entering the cabin. Uh, put uh, above the door opening here rather than where it more naturally would be on the A pillar. The same really applies to the positioning of the digital tachograph slot up here, uh, necessary for those venturing above three and a half tonnes. Which shouldn't detract from the fact that overall, this is a beautifully thought out cabin. Highlights include optional touches like the huge storage area, a split storage area that's under these two front passenger seats, accessible by simply folding the seat base cushions forward. Or the way that the centre seat folds down to create a table that uniquely swivels towards the driver. Or even the fold down sat nav screen that comes out of the roof and incorporates real time traffic information to guide you around jams and has Bluetooth and MP3 compatibility. There's a vast range of master options with over 350 body styles available should you start considering the rear seated crew vans, uh, bus versions, chassis cabs, pickups and tippers or indeed the ambulances, cherry pickers, horse boxes and many other options uh, offered by Renault approved coach builders who now have even greater scope for conversion. Most customers though will want a simple van for which you'll pay somewhere in the 21 to 27,000 pound bracket for a front wheel drive model or between 28 and 30,000 pounds for a rear wheel drive version. Mind you, even here, things aren't especially straightforward given the choice of three roof heights, uh, that's H1, H2 and H3, uh, three wheelbases and four load lengths, L1, L2, L3 and L4. All of this is shared uh, by the Vauxhall Movano, which shares this French model's design. And it's necessary to combat an army of tough rivals like the uh, Peugeot Boxer, Fiat Ducato and Citroen Relay design package, or the Volkswagen Crafter and uh, Mercedes Sprinter collaboration, not to mention larger Ford Transits. As for equipment, well, you'll need to read the fine print since a number of the convenience gadgets are optional. Still, you don't mind paying a bit more for really useful design, a good example of which is the clever Carmenat TomTom satnav system with its fold-down screen. Um, that too is optional on entry-level models, as is the ESP stability control system if you're going for a front-wheel drive master, and the really neat Renault keycard system, which alleviates the need to keep locking up if you're making frequent deliveries. Still, all models do get a CD stereo, electric front windows, electric heated door mirrors, remote control central locking, Bluetooth connectivity, a driver's airbag, ABS brakes and a full steel bulkhead. If you're city based you might also want to consider the option of a robotized manual gearbox which does away with all that left foot clutch work. Of the four vehicle lengths L1 and L2 are produced for front wheel drive customers while the huge L4 which is uh, two meters longer than Renault's huge Grand Espace people carrier, is exclusively for rear driven models like this one. It's the mid-range L3 body style though that will suit most customers and that's available with either layout. Now, depending on your uh, choice between three body heights, H1, H2 and H3, that means cubic capacities ranging uh, between eight and 14.8 cubic meters if you go for a front wheel drive model and between 12.4 uh, and 17 cubic meters if you go for a rear wheel drive model like this one. Although you can push that up to 22 cubic meters if you go for the rear wheel drive model with the Luton body style. 
Now that kind of carriage capacity can mean a lot of weight, so it's just as well that an extra 4.5 tonne gross vehicle weight option has been added at the top of the range, sitting above the more familiar 2.8, 3.3 and 3.5 tonne variants. That means payload capacities that run between 994 and 2,254 kilograms. Alternatively, there's a sliding side door, now 17 centimetres wider than it was in the previous generation model, offering an opening at least 1,684 millimetres high by 1,270 millimetres wide. An optional sliding door on the other side is available at extra cost, but either way you get uh, this steel bulkhead to stop stuff from sliding forward into the cab with you. An eventuality that uh, it, the tie down points, there can be as many as 14 of those, uh, are really there to prevent. There's also this useful shelf accessible only from the loading area for stowing away lashing straps and other bits and pieces. But will it be cheap to run? Well, judge for yourself. The French engineers tell me that model for model, over the previous generation range, fuel consumption costs have been cut by between 1 and 2.7 litres per 100 kilometres in their terms. But what you need to know is that fuel consumption will vary between uh, 30 and 33 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle, and that CO2 levels can be as low as 187 grams per kilometre. Now, servicing costs have been cut too, by up to 40% with service intervals now at 25,000 miles or every two years, uh, brake discs and pads that last 20% longer, engine coolant that lasts for six years or 100,000 miles, and a timing chain that lasts for life. Now, as a result of all this, Renault reckons that the average business user could save up to 1,500 pounds every 120,000 miles or four years compared to the previous generation model. The standard warranty is uh, three years with 100,000 miles or two years with unlimited mileage. Now, uh, Renault has created a Pro Plus LCV dealer network to communicate all these benefits to potential business users. Then there's iCare, a visionary pay-as-you-earn maintenance program that minimizes downtime and charges you only when your van is out there working for a living. The market's largest vans, LCVs like this one, are more significant than you might think. If increasingly goods can be carried in efficient, eco-friendly vehicles like this, rather than in smoky lorries, then everyone will benefit. Goods will be cheaper, they'll get there quicker, and the polar bears will have a few more years on the ice cap. Now for that to happen, large vans need to be able to carry larger loads, and this one can thanks to its greater space and heavier weight limits. Which matters. How many lorry journeys, after all, could equally well be completed by a Renault Master if it had, say, a 22 cubic metre Luton body and the top four and a half tonne weight capacity? An enormous number. Few large van rivals offer quite such a practical alternative for goods transit, and those that do struggle to match this French contender's sensible convenience features and low running costs. True build quality could be a bit tougher and some of the optional features made standard, but those things apart, this is a remarkably complete package, which, if you have packages of your own, could make a remarkably astute choice. <laughs>